Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're delving into an important topic brucellosis. Whether you're a healthcare professional, a farmer, or just curious about infectious diseases, this video is for you. We'll cover everything you need to know about brucellosis, from its causes and symptoms to treatment and prevention. So, let's get started. What is brucellosis? Brucellosis is an infectious disease caused by the brucella bacteria, primarily transmitted from animals to humans through consumption of contaminated dairy products, direct contact with infected animals, or inhalation of airborne particles. It can result in symptoms like fever, fatigue, joint pain, and muscle aches and can lead to severe complications if left untreated. Brief History of Brucellosis Discovery In the early 19th century, physicians and veterinarians noticed a recurring febrile illness in both animals and humans. In 1887, British military physician Sir David Bruce identified the causative agent, which was later named Brucella in his honor. Early Understanding Brucellosis was initially associated with cattle and was a significant problem for the dairy industry. It was subsequently found to affect a wide range of domestic and wild animals, including goats, sheep, pigs, and dogs. Human Transmission It was soon recognized that brucellosis could be transmitted from infected animals to humans. Worldwide Impact Throughout the 20th century, brucellosis became a global concern, particularly in agricultural and livestock-dependent regions. Efforts were made to control and eliminate the disease, including the vaccination of animals. Continued Challenge Despite significant progress, brucellosis remains a challenge in many parts of the world, particularly in regions with limited resources for disease control and in areas where the disease is endemic. About Causal Agent of Brucellosis Shape Brucella bacteria are typically small and cocobacillary in shape, with a slight elongation that makes them appear similar to short rods. Size. They are very small, measuring around 0.5 to 0.7 micrometers in width and 0.6 to 1.5 micrometers in length. Gram-negative. Brucella are classified as gram-negative bacteria, meaning they have a thin peptidoglycan layer surrounded by an outer membrane. This gives them a characteristic pink or reddish color when subjected to gram staining. Capsule. Some species of brucella possess a capsule, a protective outer layer that contributes to their ability to evade the host's immune system. No flagella. Brucella are non-modal, meaning they do not have flagella for movement. Intracellular pathogens. These bacteria are facultative intracellular pathogens, capable of surviving and replicating within host cells, such as macrophages. This ability is a key factor in their ability to evade the immune system. Growth characteristics. Brucella are slow-growing bacteria that require specialized culture conditions, such as enriched media containing blood, serum, or specific nutrients. They grow optimally under microaerophilic conditions, low oxygen. How brucellosis transmits to human? Brucellosis is a zoonotic disease, which means it can be transmitted from animals to humans. The primary modes of transmission from animals to humans include Consumption of contaminated dairy products. Unpasteurized milk and dairy products from infected animals can contain live brucella bacteria. When humans consume these products, they can become infected. Direct contact with infected animals. People who work closely with livestock or other animals, such as farmers, veterinarians, and slaughterhouse workers, are at risk. Brucellosis can be transmitted through contact with the bodily fluids, tissues, or excretions of infected animals, including through skin cuts or mucous membranes. Inhalation of airborne particles. In laboratory settings or in facilities where animals are handled, there's a risk of inhaling airborne particles containing brucella bacteria. Other rare modes. While less common, transmission can also occur through the consumption of undercooked or raw meat from infected animals, through contact with infected animal hides or materials, and from mother to child during childbirth or through breastfeeding. How brucella causes disease, pathogenicity in human. Entry into the body. Brucella typically enters the human body through consumption of contaminated dairy products, direct contact with infected animals or their bodily fluids, inhalation of airborne particles in certain occupational settings, or other rare modes of transmission. Survival in host cells. Once inside the body, brucella is phagocytosed by immune cells, particularly macrophages. Unlike many bacteria that are killed within phagocytes, brucella has evolved mechanisms to survive and replicate within these immune cells. Intracellular replication. Brucella bacteria multiply within macrophages, which are part of the body's defense against infections. This allows the bacteria to avoid detection by the immune system, as well as antibiotics. Spread within the body. Over time, the bacteria can spread from the initial site of infection to various organs and tissues, including the liver, spleen, bone marrow, and reproductive organs. Systemic Symptoms As the infection progresses, it can lead to systemic symptoms, such as fever, fatigue, joint pain, muscle aches, and in some cases, more severe complications like arthritis or neurological issues. Chronic Infection 
If left untreated, brucellosis can become a chronic infection, causing persistent and relapsing symptoms. What are the symptoms of brucellosis? Fever. Brucellosis often begins with an irregular, fluctuating fever. This fever can come and go for several weeks or even months. Fatigue. Profound fatigue and weakness are common symptoms, often persisting for an extended period. Joint pain and muscle aches. Individuals with brucellosis frequently experience joint pain and muscle aches, which can be severe and resemble symptoms of arthritis. Sweating. Excessive sweating, especially at night, is a common symptom. Headache. Headaches, ranging from mild to severe, can occur. Chills. Patients may experience chills and shivering. Gastrointestinal symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain are possible, but these symptoms are less common. Enlarged spleen and liver. Brucellosis can lead to an enlargement of the spleen and liver. Neurological symptoms. In severe cases, brucellosis may lead to neurological symptoms, such as depression, mood disturbances, and in rare cases, central nervous system involvement. How to diagnose brucellosis? Clinical evaluation. The doctor will start by assessing the patient's symptoms and medical history, paying attention to potential risk factors like contact with animals, consumption of raw dairy products, or exposure to certain occupational environments. Blood tests. Serological tests are the primary means of diagnosing brucellosis. These tests detect specific antibodies produced by the immune system in response to brucella infection. The two common serological tests are the Rose Bengal test and the standard agglutination test, SAT. A positive result on these tests suggests brucellosis. Blood cultures. Blood cultures are used to identify the presence of the brucella bacteria in the bloodstream. Culturing the bacteria can confirm the diagnosis and determine the specific brucella species. Bone marrow aspiration. In some cases, a bone marrow aspiration may be performed to culture brucella from bone marrow samples. Imaging studies. In cases with severe complications or when brucellosis affects specific organs, imaging studies like ultrasound, x-rays, or MRI scans may be used to evaluate the extent of tissue damage. PCR testing. Polymerase chain reaction PCR, testing can be used to detect brucella DNA in clinical samples, providing a highly specific and rapid method of diagnosis. What is treatment for brucellosis? The treatment for brucellosis typically involves a course of antibiotics. The choice of antibiotics and the duration of treatment can vary depending on the severity of the infection, the specific brucella species involved. The primary antibiotics used to treat brucellosis are doxycycline. Doxycycline is often used in combination with another antibiotic for a period of six weeks to two months. It's effective against various brucella species. Rifampin. Rifampin is frequently combined with doxycycline and taken for the same duration. The combination of doxycycline and rifampin is considered one of the most effective treatment regimens for brucellosis. Trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. In some cases, especially when the bacteria are resistant to other antibiotics, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole may be used as an alternative. Streptomycin or gentamicin. In severe cases or in individuals with central nervous system involvement, healthcare providers may prescribe aminoglycoside antibiotics such as streptomycin or gentamicin, often in combination with other antibiotics. These are typically administered intravenously. It's essential to complete the full course of antibiotics as prescribed by your healthcare provider, even if symptoms improve before the medication is finished. How to prevent brucellosis? Avoid consuming raw or unpasteurized dairy products. Ensure that all dairy products, such as milk, cheese, and yogurt, are pasteurized before consumption. Practice good hygiene. If you work with animals or are in environments where brucella exposure is possible, practice good hygiene. This includes washing your hands thoroughly with soap and water after handling animals, their tissues, or excretions. Use personal protective equipment PPE, in occupational settings with a high risk of brucella exposure. Use appropriate personal protective equipment, such as gloves, masks, and goggles, to minimize contact with potentially infected materials. Regularly test and monitor animals. For farmers, veterinarians, and others working with livestock, it's essential to test and monitor animals for brucellosis. Infected animals should be isolated, treated, or culled as appropriate. Safe slaughtering and handling practices. If you are involved in animal slaughter, ensure that it is done safely, and take precautions to minimize the risk of exposure to brucella-contaminated tissues and fluids. Laboratory safety. In laboratory settings, follow strict safety protocols to prevent accidental exposure to brucella bacteria. Vaccination. In some cases, particularly for animals, vaccination against brucellosis is available and may be recommended to reduce the prevalence of the disease. Travel precautions. When traveling to regions with a high incidence of brucellosis, be cautious about consuming local dairy products, and take preventive measures if you will be in close contact with animals. Education and awareness. 
promote education and awareness about brucellosis, particularly in high-risk occupations or areas where the disease is endemic, to encourage preventive measures and early detection. Conclusion. Brucellosis is a serious infectious disease that affects both animals and humans. Understanding its causes, symptoms, and prevention methods is essential to protect yourself and those around you. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with others who may benefit from this knowledge. Thanks for watching, and stay healthy.